The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Realist Puppet in the game. Today, we're creating resonating snares using the very unique Ableton plugin, Corpus. I think the snare is the driest part of this beat, and I'd like to add something to help it fit in with the more ambient sounds behind it. And to put the effect on this snare, I'd actually not like to put it directly on the snare. I'd rather duplicate the channel and double click corpus and put it on this duplicate. That way I can put this on 100% and use the volume of this duplicate channel. to control the volume of the effect. And having the effect on its own channel will have a few more benefits that we'll get to down the road. But let's go ahead and try and make a resonating effect that sounds a little bit more musical in this beat. And then here we have different tones that can resonate. Let's solo these get a better idea of what the difference is. And this doesn't have to be on the whole time. This could be used kind of as a buildup. Because this just created a really cool background texture for your snare. Now, if we want this to get out of the way of the snare, I also like to have my background effects do some ducking. So I'm gonna use the compressor, and this is the main reason why I split up the effect onto its own channel. Now I can take the channel above corpus, which is our original snare, and use it as a sidechain input here on our compressor. And then finally, I'm gonna grab my filter and just do a little band pass on the part that I want to hear. So now that we got our effect dialed in, let's just bring the volume back a little bit. Are your plucks popping? Have you spent countless hours programming your plucks with no results? Introducing Poppin' Plucks Volume 1, the complete collection of serum presets that will get your plucks so popping, your song just might pop off. Poppin' Plucks is available now only at holoops.com. Another place that we could use Corpus to create a cool effect is here on this guitar. Instead of doing it on its own channel, I'm just gonna group it, create a dry channel beneath it. And the only difference between doing it this way and the way I just showed you is you can't side chain it to the dry channel quite as easily this way. And then let's make this one Corpus. And to make this sound more like a splattery spring reverb, I'm gonna switch this to pipe and pull a tune on this all the way down. Let's also turn the dry wet all the way up. And for the LFO, we're just gonna use a tiny little bit. And without it. No, just dial it back in a little bit more. I'm gonna take this amount and go all the way down to 1%. So 
So there you have it. Those are two of my favorite resonating effects using Ableton's Corpus. If you want to see the rest of the Ableton ABCs list, I'll put all the links to the videos in the description. And I'll catch you guys next time with another video. Peace out.